Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh right here back again with another scattering report video for you guys today. And uh, last time we did one on the Athens Warriors. This time we're doing ours on the Pleasant Plain Cardinals. Um, got a big game coming up on Friday. It'll be the first um, Moreau Forsyth football game that's um, either whether it's a JV or varsity or freshman that will not be taking place at Walter Boyd Field this year. So, Monroe Foresight Trojans versus Pleasant Plain Cardinals. As you can see, we are 2 0. We've won our first two games. Uh, Pleasant Plains, they're not so lucky. Uh, they ended up, uh, I think they lost their first game of the year to the North Mac Panthers, and then they ended up winning their next game, I think, against uh, Porta, I think it was. So I'm going to zoom in my uh, my computer there. That way you guys can see a little bit better. So the date for the game, um, April 2nd, 2021, a.k.a. Um, Autism Awareness Day. Um, so we so 2021, week three, our own, hashtag our own, our town, our team, our legacy. Uh, we owe these guys for basketball and baseball. Now it is our turn. Joseph's first ballot Hall of Famer. Okay, so looking at, at um, win at 8 out of 10 in these categories, and you will always win small things, win big games, bolts control Monday conditioning. So uh, we got more than two touchdowns against Athens. Um, uh, we had more than two for sure. I think we we won that game like 56 to 12, I think was the final score. Uh, we got more than 350 yards total. I mean, if you're going to... I mean, it was like 48 to 12 at halftime, so, of course. 6 to 15 plays, of course. 100% of the red zone uh, scored 35-plus points. Again, we scored like 50. Um, GAP special teams did pretty good. 200 yards total, that was pretty good. Five sacks, that was pretty good. 14 points or fewer, they had 12 again. 40-yard penalties, yep. Alrighty, so... I'm thinking this is Pleasant Plains. Uh, I'm guessing this is their team here. Um, Gilson Barnett, or Barnett Gilson. He is a sophomore there, 5'11", 160. Uh, for a kid that's 5'11", 160, that's, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, oh, I, I, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. A, a kid that's really tall that doesn't weigh a whole lot. But then again, uh, he is a wide receiver, so that makes sense. So they're two QBs. Um, they're they have a sophomore quarterback, Seth Keninger, Keninger, and then Ga Danny Skelton. So their QBs are looking pretty young. And then uh, they got a oh, they got two freshman QBs. Wow, Josh Quant uh, from one Josh to the other. Uh, hey, what's up, man? So yeah, um, their QBs are they got some pretty young quarterbacks. Um, they got a really big team too. They're looking like a lot of six foot guys, a lot of five eleven guys, as you can see. Uh, their biggest kid is six five. Holy cow! Jesus, I'm, I'm but he weighs one seventy. Okay, um, six five and one hundred seventy pounds. Alrighty, so special teams. Uh, their kicker for opponent is number thirty four. Format is 5x5 type of kicks. Who has outside contain? Do they cross? Uh, where opponent successful? Um, I'm guessing uh, these the, the keynotes mean they were. I'm, gu I'm guessing that's what the black squares mean. Will they onside or pop kick? I don't know. How many deep returns? They had two. Formation 5, 2, 2, 2, and then all that. Okay. So looking at their defensive keys is first. Uh, looking like their best defensive lineman is number 66. Uh, that's this guy right there, Caleb Moore. He is... Got to go up and find him again. Caleb Moore, where is he at? Um, gee, gee, where is he not seeing this guy? Either I'm... Um, and, oh, oh, well, anyway, so Caleb Moore, he's a big 66. Uh, his strengths is that he's big. Again, look, Pleasant Plains looks like they have a pretty big team, so. And then he's 
I don't know how to pronounce that word. Okay. Agile? I, 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 again, I don't know what that means. Uh, their weakest defensive lineman is number 55. That is this guy right here. And uh, if I can find him, uh, Reese Payne, that he's a sophomore. He's six foot, 205 pounds. Holy cow. Okay, I don't want to deal with him. I'm glad I don't play football because I don't have, I don't have to deal with really um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, really big kids, I guess. So there, his weakness is that he's small and he's not as physical. Uh, looking at linebackers, number 21 or 22. So looking like these two guys, Carter and Panky. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. Strengths is that they're both big, they're athletic, and they're mean. So they're, so they're also pretty aggressive as well. That's what I'm guessing. And then their weakest linebacker is number 18. Uh, oh, he's an offensive linebacker or two. That's not good. Uh, Tony Reese, he's weak against the run. Uh, best defensive back is Parker Kemet. I don't know if I'm saying that name right. We're just going to call you Parker. Uh, Shanks is that he's a ball hawk. So uh, that's their cornerback right there. Uh, looking at, hang on. What's his name? Parker. Uh, let's see, how big is this guy? He is, oh, he's a senior, 5'7". Looks like he's uh, one of the shorter Looks like he's the shortest kid on this team. Again, look, looks like Plains has a very big team, or they have a lot of tall guys on their team. Um, and then, so, the weakest defensive back is Nathan Payne. He needs to eat a sandwich. Okay, that's funny. Um, probably, uh, hopefully a peanut butter jelly sandwich, too. Um, you got, if we're going to make the sandwich uh, more specific. And then opposing teams, successes, run, all, then pass, all. So the keynotes for this, three-on-three three stack blocking, rocket calls, arc equals Noah. Um, defense has played um, some C-gap. Um, okay. Uh, they're poor tacklers, so we need to run hard. If we take what they gave us uh, and are patient, then everything we do will be good. Okay. And then this was, oops. Um, okay, so now let's take a look at their offense. Offensive players, this is what I want to see. Caleb Moore, he's on here again. Um, trying to see, uh, best offensive lineman again. I'm big, strong, all that stuff. And the weakest offensive lineman, number 75, Michael Curry. That is this guy right here. That's the big boy right there. Weakness is that he's slow and sloppy. I, I bet he's slow and sloppy. Um, between offensive linemen and defensive linemen, I prefer uh, defensive linemen. I think defensive linemen play a, a bigger role than offensive linemen do. Uh, if there's any, if any of my offensive linemen are watching this, um, no offense. Defense is, I admit it, defense is a lot more fun. Uh, their best back, number 21, Jeremiah Carter. Uh, that's this guy right there. Uh, that's a running back. Strengths is that he runs hard and he's physical. Uh, their quarterback, Danny Skelton, I'm pretty so he's going to be their starter. Uh, he's fast. Or, oh, he's got strengths and weaknesses. He's very fast and athletic, and he has a really good arm. Um, I, I hope he has a good arm. I mean, that's the point of being a quarterback is that you're supposed to have a good arm. That's what I'm, I'm guessing. But his weakness is that it gives up too much charity. I guess that means like he... Must give up a lot of like pick six and all that stuff, a lot of pickoffs and all that. And then their best wide receiver, number two, Justin Guernsey. Um, trying to find him, that's him right there. Um, he's 6'5, 170. So that was the big kid we were talking about earlier. He's a leaper with hands, uh, kind of like a Randy Moss. I'm, um, I hope everybody watching this video knows who Randy Moss is. Um, if you don't know who he is, uh, look him up. Uh, keynotes, uh, must stop counter trade, RPO. Quarterback is a runner and has a good arm. Defensive backs will get tested this week. Alrighty, so special team scouting report. Opponent punt formation is tight. Um, their punter, uh, he is the QB. Yes, um, so that's number 11, the skeleton kid. 
two or three step as a two step types of punts it's a line drive punt um, keynotes they will do a quick kick so what they do is that here's the kicker right there and then they have like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay they have enough people in their field so here's the kicker right there boom all that stuff and then kicker right there and then you and then you have three guys there and then everybody's just lined up kind of like that that's a uh, formation two opponent field goal pat uh our field goals the same as pat did they attempt a field goal can we block it who's the weakest wing do they fake pat or go for two um they did block a field goal um oh wow so kicker right there and then yep that's the formation right there and so i'm going to see if there's anything else uh, looks like uh, there's a special teams thing, a special teams versus planes right here. Um, gonna take a look at that, and then um, I think we might end the video there. So special teams. So we've got outside Penn Halligan and Horby. Wide is um, short side Mason Essinger and McLeod and. Um, Big Drillo right there, and then they're the big kickers of uh, Blunk and ha and uh, Braxton Mitchell. I almost said Allie Mitchell for a minute. I would say Allie Mitchell. She doesn't play football. <laughs> um, kickoff return subs front line will be um, Balazi McLeod. Second row McReynolds, uh, Simon McReynolds and um, Aiden Riser. Might zoom this in a little bit as well so that way you guys can see. Um, third row Allen. Uh, Jamie Allen and then um, Ethan Jackson returners Ben Gilbert and uh, Lennon Albert as well. So here's the kickoff team here. So we've got Hoffman there uh, our, our, The only kicker on our team this year um, We had another kicker, but unfortunately he quit on us. So here's the kickoff team. So we've got Jamie We've got Lando. We've got Blunk So outside is again is going to be Penny and Horby Short side, Ed Hassinger, McLeod, and Ball Izzy, and then Drillin would be here, and then Blunker, um, Braxton Mitchell would be the, the two kickers. And then so kickoff return, Hoffman here, uh, Jamie would be here, um, Brody Hassinger here, and then uh, Dakota Melozier, um, and then uh, Appleby right be, would be here, Landon Albert, Franzen, Hubbard, Cade Culp, and Blunk. So this is what it would look like. Kicker here. Uh, the two um, two guys here. And then, yeah, that's what the kickoff return would look like. And then the punt team. We have Bose right here. Uh, Blunk and Appleby, uh, they're all off the side there. Inside here, we've got um, Hoffman. Q, Big Q. It, Ant Campbell is the center. Latrell. Olmeyer right here. And then Riser is the Y, H is the Jamie Allen, and then the T, um, Big Cade Culp. Um, hopefully, uh, Cade, if you're watching this, uh, good luck to your um, landscaping business this summer. And then Bose would be the punter right there. So, extra point field goal team. This is what it would look like. We got um, two sides here. We've got Simon Reynolds and Allen right there. So, Lauren McLeod and then Balazi would be right here. Reese, Olmeyer on this side, and then the two guards, Appleby and Larson, and then Campbell right there. Whole, uh, that is uh, Mickey Appleby right there, I believe. And then Jack would be right here, so then Blunk would kick. And then so there's more punt return stuff. Um, you guys can pause it if you guys want and uh, just look at it from there if you want. So, yeah, that's it. Really, I don't think. Uh, there's anything else to go over uh, there's a YouTube video there I might click on it to see what it is um, character does matter okay I don't want I don't think we need to watch this we don't need to watch this we're good <laughs> we're good I can watch it later we're good this this video is uploaded in 2013 holy cow anyway uh, that's gonna do for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to drop a like uh, subscribe on the road to 300 and um, yeah let's see if our first road game goes well or not talk to you guys later